Kia ora, this is just a quick video to show you how to use a uh, how you use Google Apps to create a digital escape room um, that you can challenge your students on in a, in a number of interactive puzzles um, and a good way of sort of kind of creatively going through um, some of the stuff that you teach. Um, to do this, I've used a Google site. Um, not everyone's used Google Sites. It's very easy. Um, it's just like you normally would in, in Google Drive. You might go to New. Um, and instead of the ones you might normally use, on the more you'll find Google Sites and it will open up a file just like Google Docs. Um, but this time you get to add interactive other files, interactive things. And so what I've done is to create a digital escape room is I've used lots of different apps to create different types of puzzles that are interactive and then I can just embed them. One of them is, uh, for those who haven't done it very much, uh, I've used My Maps, so you'll find this in Drive. If you go to New and More, you'll find Google My Maps, and that's my own copy of Google Maps that I get to create some sort of challenge or puzzle or search thing, and I can, I can highlight areas of the map um, and label them up as part of my puzzle. And I could also pinpoint certain things on the on the thing and label them up. So by doing that, with a few instructions on the site, I can then create a puzzle that, that, that gives them a, their first escape code. Um, what I've also done is create an interactive slideshow. So this is one there where every part of the slide go, um, is actually linked using the link option, um, but it links to this to its the same slide except for one object which I made linked to ne the next slide, meaning it, it creates a little puzzle um, which you can do with slides where they have to do certain things in a certain order to get the code, the next escape code. Um, when I've embedded that Google slide in um, to the website, to do that I have made sure on the slides that I file and I will need to publish to the web the actual slides and that will pop up with the embed option. And I can see I've already clicked publish and my code here is, is for, the, for, uh, for what I need for the website. Um, but if I make that every minute, it will definitely not move on before they've done something. Um, and I'll make sure it always stays within the slideshow. And this embed code I can now copy, highlight the code, go back to my Google site and, and at the top of the right hand list I can use the embed button and click embed code here and I can paste that there and then there's one little technical thing what I've done on my Google site you'll, you may notice is that the actual control buttons are hidden meaning that they can literally only do the interactive puzzle I've made with slides and they can't go forward in slides to do that there's just an extra bit of code that you have to add in the embed code and it's this and rm minimal and you do that on the google site in the embed code after that time frame delay for slides so after that after that 60 60 second delay 60000 milliseconds i just paste in and the the and sign rm equals minimal before the spit and then the speech marks go there um, that way that will hide the controls for slides and you'll see in the uh, in the example one it will not have the control buttons okay so that's one way of doing that and you'll see from my site that the maps are there I've got a video for them to watch for another with some questions there I've got a drawing where they have to look around maybe look around a map or whatever you might want to do here um, and create another puzzle and then the trick here is to then have to enter all the codes into a Google Form to escape. Um, and for those who haven't done validation in Google Forms, in Google Forms I've got the here it is um, with the team name or their name where they enter. And every time they have to enter an answer, I've actually A made sure they have they have to, it's required and they have to answer it. And B I've used this option, response validation, which brings up the uh, option to actually say that it must be a certain word, must be a certain number must be a certain length or anything I want, but it has to be that for that to be accepted so they won't be able to submit the form until all the answers are correct because all of the answers have the validation on. So when that gets embedded, you can see they can't escape the escape room unless all the answers are correct. So 
bit slightly technical in some places, but quite easy to do, quite quick to do, um, and also a great activity for students to have a go at as well. So, uh, so let's get using the Google Apps and explore a more creative, interactive side of, of what we can do with them. Thanks, guys. Kia ora.